What's going on everybody? I'm the goods on YouTube. TG so good everywhere else. All right, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to show you guys, I'm just entering any roster. I'm going to show you guys how you can clone a player. Uh, now you can, of course, clone a player through player DNA. So let's say you wanted to clone Joel and Bede. So let's overwrite Giannis. Now, some of you are going to need to stay tuned to the video because I'm going to do some stuff that you can only do on PC. So let's do this. Import player DNA, use NBA player, bam. Let's use appearance and attribute and put Joel Embiid here. Now he is clone. Let's keep changes. So we've got a Joel Embiid for the Bucks and we've got a Joel Embiid for the 76ers. Let's say somebody's making a, a video or whatever, some kind of my NBA, my league type video where they're doing a simulation where there's a Joel Embiid on every team. Well, another way that you could clone a player, especially if you're in like my league or whatever, um, let's see. So you get up 2K tools. This is only for PC now. This part. Let's go to the. Well, let's start on 76ers. Let's click Joel and B. Click edit player. They want to copy all data to clipboard. After we click here again, you only need to copy all data to clipboard once. Click X up there. Then go to the team where you want to place him. Go to Chicago Bulls, let's say. Uh, Vucevic. We're just going to replace him, I guess. Go to edit player. Click down here and then paste from clipboard. Bam, he's Joel Embiid. But we need to go down. Let's see, let's go to vitals. Where is team? Okay, Chicago Bulls, Chicago Bulls, cool. All right, so let's leave it there. Let's go over to Chicago Bulls. And there the man is. Now, why does this man have, why does this man have a headband? I don't know why he has a headband. Um, I honestly don't know why he has a headband. I think that's pretty cool that he has a headband, but I'm not really sure. Let's see if I go to accessories. Can I change that? Yeah. Okay. I guess it was just a random thing. Hmm. Cool. Well, I'll leave him as is. That's Joel Embiid there. All right, cool. So some of you might be saying, okay, great. You showed us some stuff we already knew how to do. All right. So let me go back. Um, all right, so let me go back to all players. Then I'm just going to scroll down as low as I can. All right, there's players we already know. I'm looking for players that, uh, you know, that I don't know necessarily. Like, uh, do, do, do. So there's some players that only appear in certain game modes like Jordan Challenge. And there's some players that are just hidden from the roster in general. Um, and they're only available on my team, stuff like that. So what I'm going to do, or you just can't edit their team here. Like, ah, uh, let me see. Can you edit the all time teams here? You can, you can, you can, you can. Okay. So that's anyway, let's go over to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Mm -mm -mm. I'm looking for a player that I, hmm. You know what? Is Chris Weber in this game? I don't think Chris Weber is in this game. Weber. Nah, Chris Weber's not. What about Odom? Mm, Lamar Odom. I don't think they have Lamar Odom on anyone's team. So that's oh, okay. He's on the all time Clippers team. Yeah, and this other version of him is not on any team. So if they don't have a team here, there that means that version is hidden within the game. And there's uh, let me go to Artest because I don't think Artest. Ah, no Artest. What about Peace? World Peace. Wow, they don't have him here. Meta. Nope. All right. Um. Let's see, they got a couple good souls. All right. Anyway, so these these guys here are not necessarily hidden, but they're just on uh, like all time teams. But I was trying to see if I could find somebody that was like only available in my team. I can't seem to find anybody just randomly that's only available in my team. But anyway, yeah, I could go through this whole list and just copy whoever. Let's say, uh, you know, Larry Hughes. Put them on. We'll replace Donovan Mitchell with Larry Hughes. So we'll go edit player. 
copy all data to clipboard. Boom. Then go down to Cleveland Cavaliers. We're in the players tab. Remember that. Donovan Mitchell, we're going to replace him with Larry Hughes. And so we'll go away and come back. Larry Hughes is down there. It's a terrible face for Larry Hughes, but that's Larry Hughes. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's how you can comb players using NBA 2K tools. And it's, it'll probably be much faster to use NBA 2K tools to clone players. Because let's say, again, if I wanted to, if I was just going across, let me go back to 76ers, Joel B. If I wanted to clone him across every team, copy all data. I'm just going to copy all data and just go team by team. So Cleveland, let's replace uh, Jared Allen. Paste from clipboard. Now Jared Allen. There he is. He's turned to MB now. Then I can keep going through the team. So I will put him on, replace Al Horford with another MB. And I would just keep going down team by team. Los Angeles Clippers. Who is their center? Zubak. Okay. Anyway, so when I go in the game, you'll see like Joel Embiid is everybody's center. So that's pretty cool. Anyway. <clears throat> so yeah, you could go in and then once you have them cloned, you could go in and do whatever you want with them. But um, that is a video about how you are able to clone players with NBA 2K tools.